today we're going to do a really fun look where the focus is really on the lips. I wanted to do a look um, on how you can wear really bright and popping lipstick colors in the summer so that it isn't like clashing with your eye makeup. So I'm going to show you um, a bright, fun lip color and then combine it with this kind of glamorous but still sort of toned down eye makeup. I think, I think it looks perfect for summer. The lipstick that I'm actually using in this video is by Smashbox. Um, this is the Smashbox Mega Tint Long Wear Lip Color, and I'm using the color Punch. Um, Smashbox actually did send these lip products to me, and just to be completely open and honest with you guys, but I'm really glad that they did because I absolutely love them. They're like bright colors, like they do come in some neutral colors also, but there are some bright colors included, and they're super long lasting. Um, they kind of dry down to a semi matte finish, but when you apply them they feel really moisturizing like as i'm applying it i can kind of feel the moisture so i really like that and i also like how buildable they are so you can kind of apply one layer and they're more sheer so you can wear them for the daytime even um and if you apply like a second layer the color just like pops and it's just so bold and fun so i love them and you can definitely vary this look with products that you already own let's get started so I'm actually gonna start this tutorial kind of in reverse since the focus here is really on the lips. I wanted to show you those first. So as I said, I'm gonna use the Mega Tint Longwear Lip Color. This is in the shade Punch. It's just a really bright, vibrant pink. And I love this lipstick simply because it's just a major impact. The beautiful color is just so pretty. Um, it looks like a lipstick, but it actually lasts more like a lip stain. I actually wore this out to dinner recently and it lasted all throughout dinner. I was really surprised. Um, it's also really conditioning, dries down to kind of a matte finish, so maybe that's why it's so long lasting. So it's really hydrating also on your lips. And I'm just going to fill in my whole lips with this color. Um, you can definitely use a lip pencil if you want a more precise application, or if you go a little bit outside the line, you can also kind of fix any mistakes that you have with a Q-tip. So just want to pick any really bright color. Go for something crazy like hot pink or bright orange or even a purple. Just see what works for you and just really take your time applying this color really perfectly so that it's going to make your lips just look so juicy and stand out. Once you've got that lip down, let's move on to a really cool eye look that you can do. Now I'm gonna start out by using the tape method to get a really clean edge, but you can definitely freehand this if you want, if you you know don't want tape on your face, but I think this is just a really easy way how to do it. Now I'm going to use the Limitless 15 Hour Wear Cream Shadow in the shade Topaz. It's a cream eyeshadow that also just makes the eyeshadow powder eyeshadow. If you put some on top, it makes it last longer. But you could definitely just wear it by itself. Like on some days when I'm kind of just lazy, I will just reach for this and just wear it by itself because it just adds a beautiful shimmer to your eyes. So I'm just applying a soft, fluffy brush to apply that all over my lid. Now I'm gonna use some lighter color first. Um, this is from the Photo Op Eyeshadow Palette in Smoke Box. So any kind of a light tone that you know, it complements your skin tone. Um, I'm gonna use a wider brush for this and apply that just underneath my eyebrow. This product doesn't have too much shimmer in it because I don't want like shimmer everywhere. So it's just going to add a nice highlight underneath the brows. Now I'm gonna use some of these softer colors from the Photo Op Eyeshadow Palette in Softbox 2. So this one is kind of like a golden tone. It's like a golden creamy beige tone which I think is just perfect for applying right onto your lid. So I'm using a flat brush to just really pack that color on. And for the crease, I'm going to use this taupe eyeshadow that's also in that palette, just to add a little bit of depth and definition to the crease area. This is going to add in some of that dimension again. Um, I'm going to put that into the crease with um, like a soft blending brush and really blend that out, moving from the outside in. And that's gonna give you that really nice kind of soft blended look. And then I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow. This is also from that palette. Um, and I'm gonna use this on a sort of a more precise pencil brush and really kind of deepen up that color. So I want a little bit of more definition, a little bit more depth here. And I'm kind of highlighting the outer corners of my eye here. So now you're going to 
need a black pencil. I'm going to use the Limitless Eyeliner in Onyx. I love this pencil because it comes with a sharpener built in, which is so convenient. Um, and it's really, really black, so I love that. Um, it kind of applies really creamy, but it dries down, so it isn't it doesn't smudge as quickly, which I think is really important. So I applied some of that to the top lash line and then I used a soft brush just to kind of blend it out. I want a really smudgy black line but I still want that line to be quite intense so I'm kind of going back in with a little bit more of the pencil and then once that's done you can take off the tape if you've used this method and as you can see it gives you this perfect blended cat eye look. And now I'm just going to repeat those steps on the lower lash line, so I'm using some of that black eyeliner again, and then just blending it out with a pencil brush. On my waterline, I just use a white pencil, but you know, you can definitely use like an off-white pencil if you don't want too much of a contrast. This just really kind of brightens and opens up your eyes so that it doesn't look too dark and intense. So I've also applied false lashes here, and of course mascara, and I think false lashes just really kind of add that special glamorous look to this whole look, so I would definitely go for lashes if you can. So for the cheeks I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm just going to use the Halo Longwear Blush in Peachy Dream. It's just a perfect apricot peach shade. I think this accentuates the lips really nicely and it's not the exact same color family so I think it works quite well. that is actually it for the look. I know, wasn't that like actually pretty simple? So I hope you guys enjoy it. Try it out. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products I use, make sure to go check the info bar and you can also leave your comments down there. I'll try and answer as many as I can. In the meanwhile, go and check me out on Facebook and on Twitter because I love talking to you guys. So go and check that out and um, I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.